When considering your finances for later in life, it's important to understand your options. One common retirement planning tool is the annuity. It provides financial protection by exchanging present contributions for future income. It's a unique solution aimed at those concerned about outliving their retirement savings, but it's not the perfect fit for everyone. In fact, there are some compelling reasons that might make you reconsider buying an annuity. Here are six reasons why an annuity for retirement might not be your best choice. But first I want you to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode on the Senior Resource Network. My name is Jennifer and I'm here to answer your questions and connect you with the most helpful resources, whether you're well into your golden years or just planning ahead. And you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share an exclusive offer with you. Here are six reasons why an annuity might not be your best choice. Number one, did you know that annuities are not government insured? Annuities are primarily issued by insurance companies. The FDIC insures deposit accounts at insured banks and savings associations, but it does not insure products, even if those products were purchased from an insured bank. Two, if you're already a successful self-investor, an annuity might not be for you. If you're someone who has had consistent success in managing your own investment portfolio and you have a firm grasp of financial markets, an annuity just might not be the most beneficial choice for you. The returns are often modest and are generally considered safe and low risk. Annuities are primarily designed to provide a steady stream of income during retirement. So if you've been successful on your own investments, it's likely that you've already developed a strategy that suits your specific risk tolerance and goals. Number three, annuities can be complicated. The world of annuities is vast and diverse with many types to choose from, each with its own unique characteristics and benefits. Annuities can be really intricate and potentially so confusing. For example, some annuities may have surrender charges for early withdrawal and others might offer various riders for additional costs. So since they can be so complex, some retirement planners may find themselves purchasing an annuity that isn't even the best fit for their financial situation or their goals. SeniorResource.com has an amazing infographic for learning just the basics of annuities. I'm going to share a link to that in the show description for you to check out. Number four, an annuity might not be for you if you have unrealistic return expectations. So what I mean by that is annuities are not traditionally designed for high returns, but rather for steady, predictable income over a certain period. So if you're expecting a high return from your investment, an annuity just might not meet your expectations. If you are someone who is seeking high returns, then you might be better off exploring other investment vehicles like stocks or mutual funds, which you know traditionally have potential for higher yields. Number five, if high fees worry you, then an annuity is definitely not something you wanna consider. So before buying into anything, you should be aware of potential fees that can affect your total cost and maybe even reduce your payout. With annuities might come administrative fees, sub-account fees, and principal protection just to name a few. Many fees are unique to specific annuity types, while others like mortality and expense fees are always included. Number six, liquidation needs. So if you anticipate needing early access to the funds you've invested in an annuity, you should understand the potential repercussions as this could lead to some substantial penalties. Most annuities have a surrender period, which is a set number of years during which you'll have to pay a surrender charge if you withdraw more than a certain percentage of the contract value. The surrender charge is often a percentage of the amount withdrawn and decreases over time. So for example, a seven year surrender schedule might start with a 7% charge in the first year, and then it'll decrease by 1% each year until it reaches zero. Besides surrender charges, you should also be aware that if you make withdrawals before the age of 59 and a half, you might be subject to that 10% federal income tax penalty on your earnings. This is similar to the early withdrawal penalty for other tax deferred retirement accounts like 401ks and traditional IRAs. 
And then it probably goes without saying, early withdrawals can significantly reduce the value of your annuity, which basically undermines the primary purpose of having one in the first place, you know, providing a stable income during retirement. So again, if you're anticipating needing early access to your funds, an annuity is probably not gonna be for you. Thank you for joining me on the Senior Resource Network, your number one source for retirement planning, caregiving tips, and living your best. I'm Jennifer. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit us at seniorresource.com for so much more great content. And if you're still with me, I want to offer you an exclusive free ebook. It's the Ultimate Estate Planning Checklist and Guide. All you have to do is check out the episode description for the link, enter your email, and the ebook comes directly to your inbox completely free. And that's it for me. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please leave us a comment to tell us. Like the video, share it with your friends, and until next time, keep living your best.